All this wood decking has to be raised up. The next step is for me to tilt them all up and secure them in place. Now the wood decking that we have over here, okay, serves two purposes. It worked as a workman's platform for the first pour, and it's gonna be the build deck platform for the second pour. This deck is actually gonna be raised up to a specific height. The build deck ICFs will be put on top of that, and then I will raise the structure and support it in such a way it can handle the concrete pour until such time the concrete is cured and all this decking will go away. So to review, all of this wood decking has to be raised up to a specific height and I'll probably triple the amount of vertical supports and that will be sufficient to hold the concrete up on top. That's a big statement I just made there. To be sufficient to hold the concrete load up on top. That don't come lightly. A lot of thought, a lot of engineering went into coming up with the right plan. At the end of this video, I share all the resources that I used to make the calculations to get to the point where I know that this is gonna hold the concrete load above. I'm purposely using two by six wood for the lower suction bracing. Reason is I'll be able to reuse this two by six lumber up on the greenhouse above. All right, I got the bracing down here. The next step is for me to tilt them all up and secure them in place to handle the extra weight for the concrete pour that's coming up. Here is where I begin working on building the upper section bracing. You'll notice I'm constructing this out of two by threes. The reason I chose two by threes is these wall sections are only 28 inches tall. So deflection doesn't come into play too much on short pieces of lumber. So I didn't want to use two by fours because all of this is going to be wasted and I will not be able to reuse this anywhere else. So two by threes and uh, using one screw per stud on the bottom, one screw per stud on the top, and I'm calling that good. All right, friends, today's a new day. Today, to finish up raising the workman's platform and turning it into a build deck ICF platform. So let's get started. Got to looking at the decking that I put down and it's starting to curl up. I want to stitch that down with some small nails. It's most important to keep this in mind. When everything is done and after the 28 day cure, I'm going to pull all the supports out, all the decking through the bottom, out the door and up the staircase. So I don't want to use screws or big nails when I fasten this plywood deck down. 
I'm gonna use small one and a quarter nails. That's all I'm gonna use. That way when I pull everything apart down below, those little nails, they're not gonna cause me a lot of headaches. So let's get started with that. Galvanized 3D inch and a quarter nails. All right, friends, the best information that I found that's easy to understand and to help me stay within the code requirements are these three PDF files up here. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can be able to download those. Tons of information, a lot of drawings, a lot of pictures. It'll help you understand clearly what you're doing and why you're doing it. I'm gonna put one more link down below for Build Block's version on building a FEMA storm shelter. A lot of good information there as well. Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.